Hey everyone, my name is Ahmed and I'm here to teach you how to memorize some of these lysosomal storage diseases. So if you're following along in first aid, this is page 84 of the 2017 edition. It's basically the page with the lysosomal storage diseases, so if you're looking at a different edition of first aid, you know where to find these. Some of the ones I had difficulty remembering were Fabry disease, Carbet disease, and Gaucher's disease. So I drew a little picture mnemonics to, to help me remember them and I'm going to describe them to you and hopefully you can use these to help you on your boards or wherever you need them. So first one is Fabry disease and we've got a guy here holding this Febreze can because Fabry kind of sounds like Febreze and that just kind of helped me remember it. So Fabry disease is the only lysosomal storage disease that's X-linked recessive and for that reason I drew this X, this green X in his chest plate. So he's got some armor going on and he's got this X in the middle of it and that's to help me remember X-linked recessive. And now you know that the rest of them are not X-linked recessive, the rest of them are actually autosomal recessive. So that's a quick way to uh, remember all of the um, inheritance patterns of these lysosomal storage diseases. Next on the list is hypohidrosis and that means that patients with fabry disease don't sweat. And for that reason, I have these little water droplets drawn on his head, and they have X's drawn through them. So that's to remember that hypohidrosis means little to no sweat. Uh, next on the list is angiokeratomas, which are little cutaneous capillary uh, blebs. And uh, angiokeratoma, carrot, is right there in the middle of that word. So to help me remember angiokeratomas, I drew this carrot coming out of his right arm. Uh, next is neuropathy. Um, neuropathy, if you think about it, is like numbness and tingling. And I drew my person with little cleats, and that's to remember these little tingles and pinpricks on his feet. So that is going to be my universal uh, symbol for neuropathy. We've got renal failure, and we've also got cardiovascular failure. And for those, I've, I've got this same X-linked recessive X crossing out the heart, and I've got some X's on top of the kidney, and that's to represent failure of those organs. Next, I've got the deficient enzyme as well as the substrate buildup. So if you're looking at first aid, you can, you can see that for each of those storage diseases, you need to know what deficiency you have and, and the outcome of that deficiency. So for Fabry disease, we've got a deficiency in alpha-galactosidase A. So I have my person standing on a platform with uh, the title Alpha Side A, and then I have a bunch of stars. So the stars are part of the galaxy, and I've got them to the side. And essentially that helps me remember Alpha Galacto Side A. So I put those, I put those together, and, and it helps me remember the deficient enzyme. And now the substrate buildup is ceramide trihexoside. So it's one of the few lysosomal storage diseases where the deficient enzyme and the substrate don't sound similar. And for that, um, I drew these three hexagonal chest plates on my person. And I've got a C here, C here, and C here. And that helps me remember ceramide trihexoside. So I've got three hexagons, and that's one, two, three right there. Um, on his chest and that helps me remember it. So that's that's the picture for Fabry disease and hopefully it helps you remember it. So next on the list we've got uh, we've got Crabbe's disease and like we said since Fabry's disease is the only one that's X-linked recessive, Crabbe's disease is going to be autosomal recessive. And Crabby is actually a Pokemon character that's a crab and crab sounds like crabbe, so I just drew a crab and that's going to help us remember crabbe disease. So like we said, it's autosomal recessive because only February disease is um, X-linked recessive. And for you to remember develop, developmental delay, I drew these question marks on top of this crab's head. Uh, for the destruction of oligodendrocytes, oligodendrocytes have really long dendrites and they have like this broad reach so I drew a little squid, and this, this crab is killing the squid, so that, that helps me remember oligodendrocytes. And 
since he's a dead squid, you know that you're destroying these oligodendrocytes. Uh, next on this list is globoid cells. Um, if you look on histo for Krebiase disease, you see globoid cells. And to remember that, I've got my crab stepping on the globe. Next, I've got peripheral neuropathy and like uh, Febri disease. I've got my crab wearing cleats, and that helps me remember the numbs and tingles in the feet. Optic atrophy. Um, I've got my crab with really, really small eyes, and that helps me remember that. And then for the deficient enzyme and the substrate buildup, this one's kind of easier to remember even. We've got galactocerebrosidase. So beside the head of my crab, so beside the cerebrum of my crab, I have the galaxy stars drawn, and it's off to the side. So we've got galacto, so the stars, cerebro, beside the cerebrum, side to the side, ACE, and ACE means like an enzyme or something that breaks down something. So we've got galactocerebroside ACE, and if this is easy to remember the substrate buildup because it's just the substrate part of the enzyme name, which is galactocerebroside. And last on that list of difficult lysosomal storage diseases to remember is Gaucher's disease. Um, it's autosomal recessive because we said that only Fabry's disease is X-linked recessive and the rest are autosomal recessive. Uh, to represent hepatosplenomegaly, I drew a liver on my person. Pancytopenia, I drew this pan in his hand. Bone crisis, we've got X's drawn on his bone, and you can see this, this femur is actually drawn as a bone, so that helps me remember bone crisis. Osteoporosis, I've got little holes in my bone, and that helps me remember the weakness of the bone in osteoporosis. We've got avascular necrosis of the femoral head, so I have an X drawn on the femoral head. Gaucher cells. So if you look at your text, you can see these uh, Gaucher cells filled with lipids and they look like crumpled tissue paper. So in the left hand of my character, I have a ripped, crumpled sheet of paper and that helps me remember Gaucher's disease, the Gaucher's macrophages. And for the deficient enzyme and the substrate buildup, we've got glucocerebrosidase. So not galactocerebrosidase, but glucocerebrosidase. So beside the head of my character, I drew two candy canes. And candy canes, as we know, are made of candy and sugar. And gluco is basically sugar. So I've got two candy canes, sugar candy canes, drawn beside is cerebrum. So we've got gluco, cerebro, side, ace, which is the enzyme. And we've got gluco, cerebro, side as the enzyme. And that wraps up the video. Thank you for watching. If you've enjoyed this, like and subscribe. And by all means, comment and let me know what you'd like to see next. Thank you and take care.